Do all acrylic pours take the same amount of paint? The answer is absolutely not. In general, I tell people, especially when you're starting out, to use 25, one ounce of paint per 25 square inches of canvas. In this case, I have a 10 by 10. It's 100 square inches on top. There's five square inches on each of the sides. That's another 20. 120 square inches, divide that by 25. That gets us, I need about five ounces of paint to cover this canvas. There are some techniques that don't take near as much. And I'm gonna show you one of those and explain why that is. Now today I'm going to use these paints, the Pebeo Studio Acrylics, Mars Black, Primary Yellow, and the Turquoise from Artist Loft. And then for my white and my base coat, I'm going to use Amsterdam Titanium White. And I have been loving working with the uh, Olga Sobi acrylic pouring technique and her new class, the Secret Recipe class, shows us how she does her amazing painting. So that's the mixture I'm going to use here. That is a proprietary mixture, so I'm not gonna show you or tell you how to mix that. If you wanna do that, I highly recommend that class. Definitely well worth the money. If you wanna save a little money, there's also a discount code in the description below. That being said, any medium will follow the same basic guidelines. What matters with how much paint you're gonna use is the consistency of your paint and the technique. In this case, we're gonna use a very thin consistency paint because with a thin consistency paint, you're gonna be using less. It's gonna move quicker, it's gonna spread over the painting quicker, and you're gonna to have to use less. So in this case, I have a very thin consistency paint. I'm gonna show you here. This is my turquoise. Not quite getting enough, so you can kind of see it. It's not even leaving a mound. It's just immediately going away. And just to be scientific about this, I'm going to measure all of my paints. I've already done it, but I'm just gonna show you here. So first we're gonna do the white, and I'm gonna leave the sticks in so I don't have to worry about what paint is on the sticks. So white is 91, 91 here. My black is 30. I have 29 here, but I'll change it to 30. My yellow is 28, just like I have here. And my Turquoise, 33, just like I have here. And then after we're done, I will measure again and see how much paint we use. As you saw before, I did do a couple of tests to make sure that all the paints were about the same consistency. So first of all, the less you're tilting off, the less paint you're going to need because you don't have to worry about the painting getting to all the corners. If I'm manually applying paint to my canvas, I'm gonna use way less paint. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna take my white. I'm gonna pour a bunch of that on. Not a huge amount, but a bunch of it. And I'm just gonna spread it out with a brush. Make sure it gets everywhere. So again, because I am manually getting paint everywhere, I am not using near as much paint as if, even if I, if, even if I would've put this on the canvas and blown it out, I'm gonna use a little bit less paint, although blowouts, generally use much less paint than, than just tilting off the edge. And I'll just make sure I get all my edges. I'm trying to even that out as much as possible. I don't have the softest hand, so this will have to do. Make sure I get my corners. So now I have paint everywhere. And if I reweigh you're kind of, I'm kind of doing this off screen, but if I reweigh that, I only used about 40 grams of paint there and I have my whole canvas covered. All right, so 40 grams of paint is approximately an ounce and a uh, third. There's about 28 uh, grams in an ounce. I round up to 30 just to make the math easy. So I've used about an ounce and a third. For this canvas, again, we figure we need about five ounces of regular paint, so I'm already way down from that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I'm gonna take our white again and just make it a little bit of a puddle. And we're just going to drizzle on some of these colors. I'm not using all of these, not even close, because I don't need to. I'm 
do the same thing again. I probably don't want any more black. So I'm gonna do a bunch of the It's funny when you start to use these paints very thin, you see them start jumping all over the place. And essentially that's just charged particles in the paint and charged particles down here, almost like a magnet pushing off of each other. And you saw that blue, it kind of jumped down. So now we have a bunch of paint here. I'm gonna add a little bit more white at the, the top and add a bunch of white on the outside. Saw that one right there, did it too. So interesting. And then we're gonna use my trusty mini hair dryer. Make sure we hold down the cool and do it on low. And now I'm actually gonna center my canvas. My ca canvas was centered, but I'm gonna make the center of the paint in the center of the cake spinner because I want this to expand out this way. And then we're just gonna spin. And the reason why spinning works so well is because I'm my paint is in the middle and it's spinning out to cover the rest of the painting. I'm using more paint to get this to happen. And so again, I'm using way less paint and making sure it gets so Now we're going to move this a little bit. Now you can see I don't have any excess paint because this paint really isn't moving anywhere. I have some very interesting patterns and it is completely covered with paint. And I have more than 50% painted and less than 50% of negative space. I see some things right here that just kind of need a little bit more paint to And so now before I get you in for a close up, let's look at how much paint I actually used to make this whole acrylic pour. Okay, so let's measure again. I have my scale weighted out. I have my cup still in, so the black. I used one gram of paint. The white, it's down to 45, so I used 46 grams of paint. The yellow, I used probably only a gram of paint. This isn't the best, most accurate scale out there, but let's, you know, let's say it's three off. I used three grams of paint. For the turquoise, which I used more of, I used two, two grams of paint. So overall, that means I used 46 plus two. We're gonna say the yellow was two again and then two or three. So we used an ounce and two thirds of paint, which is 55 or so grams of paint to do this whole acrylic pour. All right, so let's look at the finished product here. Because I spun it out and there's very little paint on there, I'm gonna get a lot more delicate colors, not a lot of huge solid colors, which for me is great, especially when I have a lot of white negative space, it's still gonna pop out quite a bit. And I got some great cellular action. A little bit of the black came up right here. 
and it tinted the yellow kind of on the outside. And I got some more cells out here. Overall, I could have used two or three more grams of all the colors of paint and really made this cover the whole canvas. But I wanted to demonstrate how some techniques and the way you tilt the paint off or they move the paint on the canvas can really save you a ton of money. Normally, for a 10 by 10 canvas, I would need about five ounces of paint to cover the whole thing. By using very thin paint, manually applying the base coat so I didn't have a lot of excess paint dripping off, and by using the spinner to maximize how my colored paint was broadcast across the canvas, I was able to use just less than two ounces of paint total for that pour. That means I used about a third of the total paint of a normal acrylic pour on a 10 by 10 canvas. And now because I made up six total ounces of paint initially and only used two on the first painting, I had four ounces left to pour with. And I wasn't gonna let that go to waste. This is my second pour with the same paints, also on a 10 by 10 canvas. Even this painting used only four total ounces of paint instead of the normal five because the paint was thinner and I used the spinner instead of manually tilting off the paint. I did have to add more at the end to get all the corners covered. If you love how these paintings look, I recommend you watch my review of Olga Sobi's Secret Recipe course here.